Um, yeah, I just wanted to show you how to restring a guitar. Um, I've already put the, the strings in, but basically, um, this is your plastic little peg. I don't know what they sort of call it. Um, so you've got your top string. You've got a little ball that, that runs like that, that way. So you want that facing long ways. And you grab your peg and you put that down there and pull back on the string. So once you've got all your strings on, what you want to do is there's some little holes in here, obviously, for you to put your string through. You want you want your holes to sort of to face outwards, and same on that side to face. You want the uh, let me see. So you want the hole to face out that way. So I'll just put this back up here. So we'll set them to where they need to be. And then we will start restringing the guitar. Um, so you can probably buy a winder for these, but these are oversized custom machine heads, which is, these are machine heads. So firstly, put, put your first string through there. So you can see the string goes out that way. I normally just put my hand underneath there to give it some uh, length. Grab this finger, index finger, with the other index finger and sort of crimp the string and then fold it under, under like that to the other side, holding this one down and pulling it back over itself like that and pulling back and down on that and then winding. And if you can get that to happen then that's great. It gives it a bit of extra clamp. So just keep winding that. Grab your next string. Same thing. underneath itself, pull down and over the top like that. You might want to <clears throat> just have something sort of sitting underneath there to support the neck of your guitar or just hold it up like that. You want to push down in the string so you sort of go underneath the winding part of the string. Put that in place. I like to use all Gibson gear, as I said, because I guess they put a lot of time and effort into um, getting the right sound from their strings and their guitars. So it kind of makes sense to use the same product, um, even though there's some great stuff out there in other products. But yeah, I just normally go for, actually these are 12s to 53s. I like a nice uh, big sort of sound. This is a pretty organic sort of guitar but I do like a, a big sort of sound, so that's what I go for. Now with this other side, you can do whatever you want. You can um, do the top of the bottom part. I normally go for this, um, the little string first. 
So same thing, just feed your string in there and outwards, holding up, pull that one underneath, like so, pull that one over the top, and same thing. Normally, give yourself a little bit more um, winding on this little string. Everyone has their own styles, but I tend to give this one a little bit more string, seeing it is a thinner, thinner string. String. Same thing. Keep winding. And they're starting to pull through nicely. And uh, if, you're, if you're a beginner, if you can learn how to restring your guitar, you're gonna save yourself a lot of money for really something you shouldn't have to pay for unless, um, you know, you, you're gonna get your guitar set up, get the bridge set up a little bit and the neck and make sure it's all straight. Um, but other than that, learn how to restring your own guitar and you'll save yourself a lot of money and time, of course. So last string. I'm gonna pull through. Nearly there. Okay. Just go get my tuner. I probably should have got a while ago. Just get a sheet or something like that and roll it up. Keep your machine heads off. And uh, so what I've got is <clears throat> a pair of uh, cutters. Cut the top of these strings. Get them down as close as I can so you never sort of cut your hand. Now to um, just tune up the guitar a little bit, get that up a little bit higher, okay. Now 
Now, to tune your guitar, normal standard tuning is top string E, the, uh, the next string, which is the fifth, so it's six, five, four, three, two, one. One being little string, the top being sixth. So on the sixth string, you want to open string E. Fifth string, you want to A. Fourth string, you want a D. Third string, you want a G. Next string, which is the second, you want a B. And the last one, one you want an E as well, so top and bottom strings are both E's. So that's about it. <clears throat> um, <clears throat> so when you take your old strings off, I've got a, a cloth here, a uh, Gibson cloth where you can sort of wipe your body of the guitar, some Gibson um, body polish, and also some fretboard conditioner, which this is your fretboard, and uh, yeah, so clean your guitar up nice and then uh, apply your strings and everything like that. And I uh, hope you enjoyed the video, hope you got something out of it. Um, and hopefully next time we'll get some more close-ups um, of what I'm doing here. Um, if there's anything you'd like to see or um, if you're a beginner guitarist and you want some questions answered, please uh, leave the comments below and please check out my music at uh, www.johnolzard.com that's j-o-h-n-o-l-z-a-r-d.com hope you enjoyed the video, bye